of students I have applied to. So you are the auditor. You are auditing the financial statements, and you are required to obtain an understanding of the entity's internal control. So you obtain an understanding of the entity's internal control, and you obtain an understanding of the entity's internal control by performing risk assessment procedures. So you perform risk assessment procedures to obtain an understanding of the entity's internal control. This is essential that you may assess the risk properly, risk of material misstatement, both at the financial statement level and at the relevant assertion level. So you have to obtain understanding of the entity's internal control, and this internal control has five components. So you have to obtain understanding of each of those five components, and one of those five components is control environment. So you have to obtain an understanding of the entity's control environment. What are the various processes? What are the various controls regarding various things in control environment? What are those things? So you have to obtain an understanding of processes and controls regarding management oversight responsibilities, separation of those charged with governance from management, assignment of authority and responsibility, ensuring competent individuals, and accountability of individuals. So what are the various processes and controls regarding these things? so you have to understand what are the various controls and processes regarding these things right now let's discuss these five things so as part of risk assessment process you obtain understanding of these elements of the control environment that how management oversight responsibilities are carried out what is the entity's culture what is management's commitment to integrity and ethical values what are ethical behaviors what are ethical standards what are codes of conduct how they are communicated how they are reinforced you have to understand all that you have to understand all that that you may understand the control environment that you may assess your risk properly all right you also understand what are the controls and processes regarding separation of those charged with governance from management that whether those charged with governance i'm talking about board of directors here or those in charge with governance owners board of directors to what extent they are separate from management to what extent they are involved in management so whether there are sufficient individuals in the board of directors who are independent from management you are trying to understand all that you're trying to understand processes and controls regarding assignment of authority and responsibility how actually the entity assigns authority and responsibility what are the key areas of authorities and responsibilities what are lines of reporting so you perform risk assessment procedures to understand controls and processes regarding competent individuals how actually entity attracts develops retains competent individuals how the entity actually ensures that individuals have the necessary skills and knowledge to perform their role whether they actually have the skills and knowledge needed to perform the task what are recruiting standards what are hr policies what are training policies what are the processes regarding performance appraisal so you are trying to understand all that so you perform risk assessment procedures to understand processes and controls regarding accountability of individuals how actually organization holds individuals accountable for their responsibilities what actually is the mechanism regarding this are there any performance measures incentives rewards for such individuals you are trying to understand all that and you are trying to understand all that that you may understand entity's control environment and assess risk properly and to understand all these you perform risk assessment procedures all right students i hope this is helpful we'll connect again take care